So I'm seeing how we're seeing how some of Pope Francis's main supporters are now coming out and they're not happy with the story of Monsignor Geoffrey Burrell and Max Beans, Massimo Fagioli has come out with a post, which I thought was very interesting. Um, so he's written it in Italian, so I'll do some translations. Notizia del giorno nella Chiesa Cattolica USA. So news of the day in the Catholic Church in United States. The General Secretary of the Conference, Episcopal Conference, is has been constrained to resign from because of the publication uh, by a, a Catholic news site which has a tendency to be conservative. Seemingly being conservative today, be like believing in Catholic teaching, like as if you believe in, in Catholic teaching, like, uh, let me see, if, if we believe in the catechism of the Catholic Church, you know, what it teaches, the, you know, how, how our pastor should operate, how we should govern ourselves, you know, how we should live the faith. If you believe in this, and this is the new catechism of St. John Paul II, if you believe in this, seemingly we are conservative. And if you call out people in the hierarchy, in important positions who are not living, who are not authentic, seemingly you are conservative. That's fine. Okay, so we'll just take it. Um, the revelations uh, are about frequent, um, uh, um, the revelazione a proposito della sua frequentazione a certi ambienti. So it was about his, his, his going to gay bars and so forth. It seems that this data was obtained illegally uh, because uh, gaining access to a certain app um, on the phone of the Monsignor and from a number of years that this um, uh, um, a Catholic American site has constructed a system of tracking of telephones, geofencing, Finoracy pensava che fosse di scopi uh, elettorali. We thought now it was just on the scope of, of elected officials. Uh, now it's past the level of prendering, uh, of taking the individual um, uh, data from, uh, from people to constrain them to resign. This is the situation in the in the Catholic Church in the USA. Um, Max Beans, dear Massimo Fagioli, I know not everybody has read the article. You know when 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 these people are going on this app, they are making themselves available. They broadcast their location. These are location based apps. And so, like in Ireland, where secular journalists did an investigation into Grindr and they install the app, they go to <laughs> Irish Seminary and hey presto, oh, there are people nearby with the app. If, if journalists are not also doing the same in the United States and going to locations where nobody should be having this on their phone and realizing, oh, we're at the residence of, we're at the the USCCB conference and hmm, there seems to be many people here who have this app on their phone, who are broadcasting their location. He broadcasted his location. It's not, there's not a rocket science here to understand how to, 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 um, how to get this data. He gave it. He broadcasted his location. It wasn't obtained illegally. Like Father James Martin, Massimo Fragioli, you seem to think that Catholics should shut up and put up and not question. This is exactly the clericalism that was in the Catholic Church 50 years ago, guys. The clericalism, oh, 
don't question this. Oh, the priest abused your daughter. Well, look, you can't speak of this and we'll give you some money and please shut up and don't say anything. The clericalism we criticised for decades is the clericalism you're trying to set up here. That Catholics should treat people living double lives, double standards uh, in a different way. Oh, he didn't do anything illegal. He wasn't doing anything legal. That's his private business. You, you have no right to be to be spying on him. Do you understand, guys? If you are in positions of power in the church today, you have to be held to account. Trust but verify, and Catholics are going to verify. We are not trusting anymore blindly as we did many, many years where we trusted the cardinal or we trusted the bishop or we trusted this or we trusted that. And we said blind obedience. I was in the legionaries of Christ. Nine years. Massimo. And we were saying, oh, no, no, you have to. When the allegations came out against Father Marcial. They called us all into rooms. They said, oh, it's all an, it's all a conspiracy to destroy the church, to destroy the faith. And you have to believe that Father Marcel is completely innocent. And these guys, they're, they're a mafia of ex-legionaries that are inventing stories of being abused by Father Marcel because they hate the church and they hate the faith and blah, 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 blah. And you have to trust the narrative. Mm hmm. I am not ever going to trust blindly in what is being said in the church by the hierarchy ever again. Not even the Pope. Trust but verify. We need to trust but verify. Yes, we need to, we need to you know, honestly hope that, that people who profess to do things and to be that profess to be something are what they profess to be. But the days have gone of trusting. And I'm delighted to see Catholic news agencies investigating what's going on. You cannot release the McCarrick report in 2020 last year and expect, oh, we are just going to sit back here and, and think, oh, McCarrick report released. Oh, that's over. Now move on, the church. You know, McCarrick was the tip of the iceberg. His network is still in the church and we are going to dig out that network. Catholics are not sitting back in any country to allow that network to ever continue. And you seem to be supporting this network. You seem to be supporting the fact that we should not look. What, what are you asking, Massimo? Like James Martin getting all hot and flustered here that... Uh, Catholic news agencies are investigating what? What are they investigating? What are Catholic laity investigating? Hmm? Ask yourselves, what are we investigating? Should we turn a blind eye to double standards, double life? Do we turn a blind eye to the double standards in the church? No, those days are gone. The only way to reform the church is authentic authenticity authentic men we're not looking for saints here we're not looking for perfect men here we're not looking for men that don't sin we're not looking for men that don't fall we are just looking for authentic people to lead us in the church to be men of authentic faith to at least say hold up their hands and say look i messed up i move on we're looking for people with authentic faith so massimo um, cosa facciamo? Cosa stai facendo? What are you doing with this tweet? With this? Well, actually, it's your private message that got leaked. Do you want to continue defending this double standard in the church? You know, even if the information was obtained illegally, you know, at the end of the day, what's covered will be uncovered. And this double standard, you know, sooner or later comes out. It always comes out. It took Mar Father Marcial how many years? You know, Father Marcial was 
the Vatican knew about Father Maciel in the 1950s. Can you imagine 1950s? And he kept covering up and manoeuvring, covering up and manoeuvring connections in the Vatican, connections with this cardinals, connections to the Pope, covering up, manoeuvring. He was reported in the 1950s. We have a right to demand that the people in power in our church live an authentic life. We have a right to know that. And we will verify. We are not trusting and going forward without verification. We are going to trust but verify. And this should be something that we do constantly in our church. Trust but, I mean, as parents, if we're sending our kids to Catholic groups, we have to trust but verify, be involved in those groups, understand who's leading them, understand you know that our children are, are in good environments you, you trust but verify that's what we have to do you know the, it's really revealing what's happening in the catholic church now when we see these messages coming out from massimo fagioli from father james martin oh this this is this is criminal this is spying this is huh? you know if there wasn't something there to to report on there would be nothing to report you, these people don't understand the nature of what he was doing he had an app on, a fo on his phone that openly broadcasted his location as somebody interested in hooking up that's what this app does it, you know um if, you, if you've nothing to hide, if you don't have that app in, installed, if you're not broadcasting your, your, your location, you know. So it's great to see that the dossiers being built on different people in the church, digging into their past, digging into their double life, because I can assure you the laity are building our dossiers on different people in the Catholic Church. On their history, on what they've done, on their decisions, on where we're going, because we are not sitting back after McCarrick. We are simply not. Catholics all over the world have woken up to, our, to how our faith in the church has been manipulated and destroyed. And, you know, we're wondering why, are, why Catholics don't believe. We see it. So the days are numbered. The mafias can't last stand forever. Those networks can't stand forever. They're going to be opened, outed and, and dismantled because that's the only way forward in the church.